We present the case of a cathaminial pneumothorax surgery performed by the thoracic surgery department at Valdebron University Hospital through the Da Vinci robotic platform. This is a case of a 44-year-old woman with previous medical history of endometriosis who during the last year presented four episodes of right apical spontaneous pneumothorax 48 hours after menstruation, associating intense pleuritic pain and requiring right pleural drainage. Due to reiterative symptoms and radiological findings, robot-assisted thoracoscopy surgery was decided. The ports were placed as shown in the image, using three 8mm robotic ports and one 12mm auxiliary port for gas insufflation. First, the camera port was placed and the pleural cavity and pulmonary parenchyma were inspected, showing multiple fenestrations in the membranous portion of the diaphragm. The robotic ports were placed under direct vision. A small opical blebs were found and a wedge resection was performed using an endostapler inserted through the assistant port. The specimen was extracted with an endobag through the same port. Subsequently, the affected portion of the diaphragm was carefully inspected with the robotic forceps and moved to the apical area to delimit the margins. A partial resection of the central portion of the diaphragm was performed using an endostapler. The specimen was extracted with an endobag and sent for pathological analysis. Pleural operation of the entire parietal pleura was performed with a scraper plate, creating inflammatory scar tissue to promote additions. A chest tube was placed through the anterior port. Complete lung expansion was observed. The ports were removed under direct vision and the wounds were closed. The pathological analysis as shown in the images correspond to immunohistochemical stains in which a glandular structure lined by endometrial epithelium is identified, accompanied by underlying stroma with fusiform cellularity positive for estrogen receptors and CD10, confirming the endometrial nature of the implant. Post-operative chest x-ray showed the lung fully expanded. Pleural drainage was removed 24 hours after surgery, and the patient was discharged on the third post-op day. The chest x-ray control at two weeks showed a fully expanded lung, and the patient has not present any recurrence until the current date.